Hello everybody, we're going to see how to set numbers and then we are going to see how to add and subtract on this abacus. As you can see here, all the bits are away from this separation bar. When all the bits are away from this separation bar, the abacus is showing zero. We have four lower bits and each lower bit has a value of one. So we will have here the number 1. We have 2, we have number 3, and we have number 4. Again, 0, we have 2, 3, and 4. This single upper bit has a value of 5. So here we have the number 5. Again, 0, 6, we have the number 6 number seven, number eight, number nine. This is number nine. We have left seven, we have left six, we have left five, and we have left zero. Ten. We will use the tens column. One on the tens column and zero on the units column. We have number ten. We have eleven, one on the tens and one on the units column. This is number 11. Zero again. Twelve. One on the tens and two on the units. Thirteen. Fourteen. And fifteen. One on the tens and five on the units. The number fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. And nineteen. Again 15, again 19, again 14, and again 10. So this is 20, 21, and 22. Two on the tens, two on the units. 22, 24, 20 again, 25, 27, 29, 2, and 9, 29. Here we have 27, 22, 27 again, 25, 20, 30, and 40, 42, 44, 45, 46, 47, 49, 4 and 9, 4 on the tens, 9 on the units, 49. Here, 44. Again, 49, 45. And what's this? This is the number 35. What, what is this? 38. 3 on the tens, 8 on the units. 38. Here, 33. Okay, let's go with 50. 5 on the tens and 0 on, zero on the units. 50. 51, 52, 54, 50 again, and 55, 55, 5 on the tens columns, and 5 on the units column, 56, 57, 58, and 59, 54. Here we have 60, 62, 64, 65, and 66, 66, 65, 66 again, 61, here we have 69, 69, let's continue with 70, 80, let's see some examples, 83, 84, 85, 86, 88, 88, but here 83, 88 again, 89. Here we will have 90, 92, 93, 94, 95, 97, and 99, 99. 9 on the tens, 9 on the units column. 100, 1, 
zero, zero, one hundred. One hundred, one. One hundred, eleven. One hundred, eleven. One on the hundreds, one on the tens, and one on the units column. One hundred, eleven. Here we have one hundred, one hundred, ten. One hundred, ten. 111 again, 112, 114, 115, 117, 117, 119, 119, 120, 121, 121, 122, and 123, 123, 1, 2, 3, 125, 128, 128, 129, 130, 130, 133, 134, 134, 135, I think it's clear, 139, 140, 142, 144, and 149. 149, 145, 145, 140 again, 150, 150, 151, 151, 156, 159, 160, 170, 180, and 180, 190, 192, 194, 199, 199, 194, 199 again, 195, 230, 240, and so on. Let's see, this will be 300. 340, for example. 345, 347, 349. This is 400, and this is 500. 500, 1, 505, 508, 508, 509, 510, 510, 515, 515, 5 on the hundreds, 1 on the tens, and 5 on the units, 515. 516, 519, 520, 540, 550, 555, 555. But here, 515 is different. 600, 6, 700, 809. 900, 949, 949, here, 999, 999. Here we have the number 2,538, 2,538. Every third column we have this dot, it may represent the comma or the decimal point or sometimes to indicate that there is another quantity, another number.